my channel. Thank you all so much for tuning in. Today's video is going to be a haul, which is this big box of goodies right here. So um, we're going to jump right in. But first, I want to let you know, if my eyes look a little bare, I'm not wearing lashes. If you watched my video before this, um, I actually did a demo on some fiber lashes, and I still am picking fibers out of my eyes because I wear contacts. So I have a lot of eye issues going on right now, but I did pre-film this video, so I wanted to get this video out to you guys. But yeah, my, that's why my eyes may look a little bare. But um, yeah, we're going to jump right in. So thank you all so much for watching, and if you want to see this haul, please continue to watch. All right, so let's get started. The first thing I want to mention that I picked up is this perfume. It's by Vulgari. Vulgari? I'm pretty sure that's how you pronounce it. Um, and it's called the Omnia. And this is the carton it comes in. And it's in the blue bottle. They have different ones of these in different bottles. Um, well, it's in this bottle, but it's different colors. And I was very impressed by the smell of this. Now, I'm not that girl who goes out and buy, like, a gazillion different perfumes because I don't need that many. Like, if I got my one Old Faithful, I'm cool with that. But this one, this one really impressed me. It has, it's a very, very fruity um, floral scent to me. I think it, um, it doesn't remind you of old floral because when I think of floral, I automatically think, like, old people like perfumes and I don't like to smell old but this is a very young um fun fruity scent I think it'll be perfect for like the springtime and I'm super excited to use this because I really don't like fruity scents I'm more of a um musk I don't know very rich almost cologne smell so this is very different for me and I think I'm gonna actually like it a lot so if you want a good nice spring perfume go check this out girl y'all it is like burning up it's like a thousand degrees in here um but let's keep this show on the road um the next thing I want to mention is a eyeshadow palette and this is by Urban Decay and it's their Vice palette. It comes in a cute little makeup bag and this is what the casing looks like. Very very pretty. Uh, it has like a spider web thing going on and the colors in here are so so freaking pretty. Like I can do so many looks with this and when I first saw this palette I kept debating if I wanted to get it or not because I was kind of like girl you're not going to use like any of those colors but I was thinking you know I am starting this channel so I can do fun holiday looks and I love putting a pop of color under my waterline sometimes just to bring my look a little life. So I think this will be great for that. The pigments are so 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 Pretty. and they come out so heavy so you really don't need a lot it comes out just like what it shows in here so I'm very very impressed by this palette so if you want to splurge a little on a very fun palette for the springtime which is coming up um definitely go check this palette out Alright, so the next thing I want to mention is another palette. It's by Morphe. And this is the 35W palette. Um, if you watched a couple tutorials, no, it was the first tutorial I did, I mentioned the 35T palette. And I got these at the same time. And these are the colors on this one. It's more of a spring palette, the colors are. And they're so, this palette in my 35T palette have become like my new Holy Grail palettes. Like, I'm obsessed with them. The color pigmentation is amazing, girl. I only paid $14.99 for this. Now, granted, I did get it during the holiday time, but still, like, for a palette with this many colors and the quality being this freaking good, like, you're not going to beat that. So, definitely go check out, if you're a beginner with makeup, this, these palettes are perfect for you, like seriously. I mean, they're not that expensive and the colors are just so, so good. So definitely, if you are a beginner, do not be afraid to, don't even think about it. Like just get this one because this is a great first palette to have. All right, so the next thing I got is the um, Glam Glow Mask. It's the Gravity Mud Firming Treatment. It's their newest mask. It comes in a purple container. 
and I've heard so many good things about this, um, and I'm super excited to try it. Um, Glam Glow always does their thing, so I know I will not be disappointed with this mask, but I'm just super excited to try it. I will definitely let you guys know how I liked it or not, and if I liked it. Um, and if you want me to do a tutorial on, with this mask, definitely let me know and I'll be happy to do that. Um, but I'm super excited to try this. They don't have this in the little can. I haven't found it in the little can, um, which is like $19. I would have preferred to try that one first, but this one is $69, so it is on the pricey side. But I'll definitely let you guys know whether I liked it or not. Okay, so I also picked up another body butter, and it's by Tree Hut. This is the Coconut Lime Body Butter, and they didn't have um, the Tropical Mango one that I usually get, which I was kind of sad about, but I'm actually not disappointed with this one at all. It smells so, so good. So, I mean, hey, go check any of these out, because I've been impressed so far with the different smells, and the... The creaminess and the texture of it is so thick, and it's such good coverage on your skin. It's very, very moisturizing, especially for the winter time. So definitely go check out any of these scents um, by Tree Hut. Okay, so the next thing I picked up was another um, mask. It's by Sephora. This is their Rose Mask. I have never tried any of Sephora's masks before, so if y'all have tried their masks, please comment down below and let me know how you like it or what's your favorite color, um, because I haven't tried them, and I'm really interested in seeing how I like them, especially compared to the Glam Glow mask, because I'm obsessed with Glam Glow versus this one. So definitely let me know how you guys like this, and I'll let you know if I like this or not. Okay guys, so the next thing I picked up is this highly raved about setting powder. It's by Laura Mercier. And it comes in, this, I got this small one, um, but it's a translucent, um, loose setting powder. And I've heard so, so, so many good things about this. Now I am a fan of my Sasha Buttercup powder and I really do not want to switch up. That's why I bought the small one of this. But if I do like this, I will get the big one. Um, but I just want to try it out and see what the hype was about. So definitely let me know if you tried this product or not and how you liked it. All right, so the next thing I want to talk about is this Too Faced Dark Chocolate Soleil. Um, deep tan matte bronzer and their packaging is always so so cute and this is the container it comes in which is so pretty and opening this up I already know y'all before you comment and say it I know this is too light so I'm going to take this back I was very sad when I got this in the mail and it was like three shades lighter than what I need. Um, but this is my first bronzer that I have just because I've never needed a bronzer um, before, but I just kind of wanted to try some out. And it was between this and the terracotta, terracotta bronzer, uh, which I'll probably try that one too, but I wanted to give this one a try first. And it, let me tell you if it smells like chocolate, it does, um, like all of their, most of their chocolate products. So. It smells amazing, so I'll just go and get two shades darker and let you guys know how I like it. Alright, so the next thing I want to mention is this Wild Child palette. It's by BH Cosmetics, and I got this during Christmas for like $8 on their website. I saw someone do a tutorial with their baked um, shadow, so I wanted to check this out and see if I liked it or not. So far, the pigments are amazing, so I'll probably definitely be doing some tutorials with this palette. They have great palettes, though. If you're a new beginner and you want to try out some of theirs, they are a great company to try out. So BH Cosmetics, go check them out. They have a great color selection, and I think you'll be very impressed with the quality of their palettes. All right, so the next thing I want to mention are two liquid lip glosses, and these are by Gerard Cosmetics, and I got the color Cocoa Bean in Madison Avenue, and I will do a swatch of both of these for you. And these are so, so 
pretty. I thought they were going to be sticky because that's why I don't like wearing lip glosses is because they're usually like sticky and it kind of comes out of the container sticky. But once it dries on, it doesn't leave that sticky feeling. But these are the colors and I really hope you can see that. They're so, so pretty. And the darker shade is the Cocoa Bean and the lighter shade is the Madison Avenue. But yeah, these are so pretty. And what I love also is they come with a little light and a mirror. So yeah, I'm obsessed with this and I'll probably definitely be ordering some more of these. All right, guys, the next thing I picked up was another MAC lipstick. And this is in the shade Capricornius, Capri. I really don't know how to say this, y'all, but I will have it somewhere written on the screen. Um, but it's their Luster Lipsticks. And the color of this, I didn't even think twice about it. It's so freaking pretty. And it's like a natural lip color. Like, I just keep this um, in my purse just as just a moisturizer now. Just because I love, love the color of this. And I wish my lips were, like, naturally this color. But it just really brings out. It's a perfect, like, pinky brownish shade. It's just so pretty. And it doesn't leave, like, any type of glossiness. I mean, it's shine, but it's not like glossy, you know? So I love this just for every day. If I just need something, go into the grocery store, just put this on. It leaves a great finish on your lips. Okay, so the next thing I picked up are two liquid lipsticks. Um, they're by Lime Crime, and I got Salem and Riot. Both of these are such pretty colors, and I've heard so, so many good things about this company and their products. They have great color selection. Um, the color Salem is a brown color, and I got this because I saw Ellery, who is a beauty um, vlogger also. She did a look with this on her Instagram, and I was obsessed with the outcome, so I wanted to recreate that look. That's why I purchased this one. And Riot, I thought was very, very pretty. Um, it reminds me a lot of Lolita 2 by Kat Von D. So if you're interested in any of these, you will be obsessed with this company. Their colors are so, so pretty. And the texture, these are really good like liquid lipsticks, y'all. So definitely go check this out. All right, so the next thing I want to mention is a mask by Glam Glow. And it's the green can. It's the Power Mud Dual Cleanse Treatment. And I mentioned this in my first video that I did. And I was telling you that if you didn't want a harsh cleanse, go try the green can. And I didn't realize I hadn't even tried the green can. I don't like to recommend products that I haven't tried myself. Um, but I did go back and try this. And it turns out I do not like it as much as my black can because it's not as deep of a cleanse like when I use this mask and when I pay this much for a mask I want the deep cleanse and this was more of like a face wash so I didn't like that as much but I mean that is what it's supposed to do and you know it is for sensitive skin so if you do have sensitive skin this is the mask for you girl but definitely go check out any of their masks you will be obsessed once you join on the bandwagon um but these products are amazing all right so the next Next thing I picked up is um, a clear brow gel. It's by Anastasia Beverly Hills. It just comes in a silver tube. And um, there's nothing special about this. I just use this to set my eyebrows. They definitely help tame them because I have super duper thick eyebrows. And I don't get them waxed or anything. I know I'm behind. I need to try it. But I'm too scared. So I don't get my eyebrows waxed or anything. I just arch them or get them arched um, with a razor but this definitely helps tame them on those days that my eyebrows look like they are becoming a unibrow this definitely helps tame those so definitely if you need some taming of your own go check this Anastasia Beverly Hills clear brow gel out Okay, so the next thing I want to mention are two lipsticks by the company Gerard Cosmetics, which I mentioned their lip glosses like a few minutes ago. Um, the colors I got are Nude in 1995, and this is what Nude looks like. Very, very, very pretty. 
And I think it'll be a great pair with the MAC Lip Liner Chestnut. I think that'll be so pretty together. And you already know Chestnut looks good with everything. And this is um, $19.95. And it's just a very pretty pink peachy color. So I thought both of these would be very pretty um, for a look. So I will definitely be doing some tutorials with these. All right, guys, we are almost done. I have one more product to mention, and it is by Gerard Cosmetics also, and it is their highlighter in the color Lucy. I've heard so, so much about this on YouTube, and I definitely had to check it out myself, and I have to say, you guys, I am obsessed with it. This I am wearing today, and it just gives you the prettiest peachy glow which I love a good peachy glow not just a highlighted look I love this stuff y'all so if you need a good highlighter it's not going to break the bank go check this out girl you will not be disappointed I'm telling you definitely go check out Lucy by Gerard Cosmetics Okay guys, we have come to an end of another wonderful video. Thank you all so much for tuning in. I've had so much fun filming this for you guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed and if anything you want to see, just comment down below and I will definitely go check it out. Let me know if you tried any of these products, how you like these products and just, you know, give me some feedback. So thank you all so, so much for watching. I appreciate you and I hope to see you next time. Well, not see you, but I hope hope you're watching next time and I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching. Bye!